This is a map called Miscommunications. Welcome to the Department of Miscommunications. We're here to test your abilities to communicate with each other under extreme limitations, whether it be high stakes or literally prohibiting speech itself. You three will have to figure out how to work together without really working together. Think you have what it takes not to fall prone to miscommunications? Seven puzzles and six tradition transitional activities. One to two hours of arguing gameplay. Three players exactly. No more, no less. So, I am here. I am Goder76. That is the intro. I'm joined by Tyler and Alec. Okay, what do we do? Um, well, really let, let's click information first. I, I don't think I have command blocks enabled. And if you bleep me out, it better damn well be freaking dolphins. Okay, good. Everything is up and working. Went and got myself a mouse pad, otherwise in New Zealand known as a flat clicker. <laughs> what? Information. Seven different puzzles, three players exactly, no more, no less. Resource pack included. Check resource pack area to test. Puzzles are moderated by the players, so it's up to all of you to play the game the way it was intended to be played. Do not use chat or any form of non-verbal communication. This game is intended to be played by three people in a voice call, and anything other than this will disrupt the style of many of the puzzles. Okay, start map, let's go! Go, go, go! I probably need to op you guys so you can click buttons too. Yeah, that might be helpful. When you're ready, please press begin to select your roles for the first assignment. Okay, we need two scribes and we need a decryptor. Um, I'll be I'll be scribe. I guess I'll be decryptor. Oh jeez. Okay. It says, "Welcome to the Department of Miscommunications. Our job is to figure out clever ways to get around linguistic anomalies our lim that limit our ability to describe them in full. Today, you three will be asked to complete a series of puzzles that are designed to train your communication skills, or rather, the lack thereof. From here on out, I'll leave you in the hands of my right-hand man, Dr. Henzoi. No, sorry, Dr. Henry Ozid. Good luck. Does someone want to be Henry Ozid? What? <laughs> like, like, do the voice of him? Or her. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, so for the first task, red and blue have blank papers and must rename them each according to what yellow has in their section. Fairly self-explanatory, should be no problem. Oh, and uh, no using chat, obviously. Okay, well I have a thing that says these are pages. Blue must rename each of their chess papers to perfectly match the ones shown here. Do not remove papers from your chest or you may lose the original order and be stuck. So I think th the point is is that you guys are supposed to match your papers in your chest to mine up here. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to... So one side is probably blue and one side's probably yeah. red. And you're supposed to give us what to put in what chest. Well, my, the papers. my papers okay. are blank. Well, we'll yeah, start you with can use the blue. anvils to rename. We'll start with blue, right. and it's my name in all caps, with my being capitalized. So capital M Y, name in all caps. Okay, so it's my name, it's capital M, lowercase y, space, and then all caps, N A M E. No, no, it's literally my name in all caps, but the only the first letter is capitalized. So like. Oh capital M, my, and then all the rest is lowercase. Name is there a space? Case. That sounds Yeah, there, it's spaces. It's, so, it's all spaces. It's, it's, basically, sure. it's basically a sentence without the period. How about okay. that? So, <laughs> capital M, lowercase y, space, lowercase n, lowercase a, lowercase m, lowercase e. Well, it's my name in all caps. It's like the sentence, my name is in all caps. Like, if you were to write that in a sentence, like how I just told you, but not have a period. 
with proper grammar. Wait, you just said it wasn't in caps. No, you said it's in caps. So, no, Tyler, okay. I think what Alex is saying is it's literally the sentence, my name in all caps. It's not oh, my name gosh. all capitalized. Yeah, yeah, like, that's what I literally just said. It's like the sentence, like, but there's okay, no period. Okay, I get, I get you. Oh my I god, this sure map is already is getting to us. Literally, my is capitalized, like, it's the proper sentence, but there's just no period. Okay. And it's caps is just C A P S, it's not like capital, like, it's just. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it, yeah, it's literally C A P S. Okay, all right. all right. All right, where am I putting that one? Okay, so the next one, the sentence is, okay, wait, this looks weird. There's no commas or punctuation. <laughs> Just make sure that okay is capitalized and there's no punctuation. Is the K capitalized as well or is it lowercase K? Lowercase K. It's like okay, okay. like O O K A Y. Okay, okay. Sure okay wait, like this the... is weird. Yeah, but make sure right. it's like the actual spelling of okay, not the just okay, it's okay, A Y. Okay, wait, this is weird. All right. Okay, you want to read that back to me just so you. Oh, sh. It's okay. Oh, wait. Did I, did I read that wrong? Okay, wait. This one looks weird. Did I forget, did I forget to tell you one? Yes. Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, wait. This one is weird. This is starting. I feel. I, I don't know if this is true, but it kind of looks like they're changing. Because <laughs> now it says, okay, wait. This one looks weird. Do, is that what you have, Tyler? No. What the hell? Wait, this one looks weird. Alright, and then that goes in, um, chest two. Okay, chest three. It says, Hold on, I don't get how this works. Hold on, I don't get how this works. Same as before the sentence, but capitalize the first letter, no punctuation, except for the apostrophe don't. Uh, is I lowercase? Uh, I is uppercase. Hold on, I don't get how this works. There's an apostrophe in there. Yeah, there's an apostrophe and don't. Okay, that goes in chest three. I just want to read it one more time, so if we do it. Yep, it says, Hold on. I don't get how this works. Capital H, capital I, and apostrophe and don't. Perfect. All right, just three. Just four. It's the word for, so F O R. Or oh, hold on. F O R. <laughs> oh my god. This one's just, this one's cruel. Okay, I'll read it out. So it's four, 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 four head. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, um, I'm, quit. I'm done. I'm, I'm, no, no, okay, I'll help you do this one. So it's the same as before, where it's a sentence style. So the first one is the word for the number four. So F O U R, but it's capitalized since it's the beginning of the sentence. Okay. And then the second one is for like F O R, like it's for something. The next one is the number four. And then the next one after that is the F O R again. Then the next one is the number four. The next one is just the number four. <laughs> The next one's F O R, and then the next one is like before four, so it's like F O R E, and then the last one is four head, so F O R H E A D. And you want to read that back to me in detail? Not really. <laughs> so I got four, and then the numbers spelled out with capital F, and then space, and then F O R, and then space, and then number four, and then space, and then F O R, and then space, and number four, and then space, number four, and then space, F O R, and then space, F O R E, and then space, F O R E G E. Yep, that is correct. And that goes in chest four. No, I would not have guessed. Okay, this one is the sentence, the page is just blank. The page is just blank. With the capital of. The page is just blank, and I'm assuming page is spelled P A G E, not monkey, right? Yeah, okay. it spells everything is just right. Well, so, that was an easy one compared to the fours. The number six, the six is spelled out, and the, then the word six, but then that second six is the number. So the number six, so S I X, and then the word six, which is the number six. So it's like backwards, they're trying to trick you. Um, okay, so the number six, and then the word, and then it's six. instead of spelled out, it's the number. Yeah. See, I mean, when you're ready. Yep, right number one. Let's go. So it's literally the sentence. Actually, let us let's not start yet. But let's is apostrophe. So actually, let apostrophe yes not start yet. Yes. Got it. This one is what I just said. The sentence what I just said. What I just said. Got it. The answer to the previous question. The answer to the previous question. Um. So number four is I'm not sure what this one says. The sentence and it's capital I with apostrophe M. Oh no, here's five. one for you, Brandon. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so this is chest five. So it's two, 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 two. So it's the word two, Oof. with capital T. The Whoa. second word is two, like you go to somewhere. So just T-O. Then number two, okay. the number two. 
so two two number twos in a row two like including so like t-o-o t-o again the number spelled out two then t-o then the number two then two two like the the things that ball ballerinas wear like t-u-t-u and then the last word is this t-o two Okay. So try your best to read that back in good detail. <laughs> I have T W O T O number two number two T O O T O T W O T O number two 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 with one. Yes. The word paper in all caps. The word paper in all caps. Oh my gosh. So this is in all caps. The word paper. <laughs> so it's like the sentence. The word. Paper. All caps. Okay, so number eight is A with seven Ys, but it's not actually seven Ys, it's uh, um, five Ys. So it's A, Y, 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 so five Ys. The word with, the word seven, then capital Y, S. It's like A with seven Ys. Damn, Tyler, you gotta step up your game. We're <laughs> cruising. Hmm. It's question mark, like the symbol question mark. Question mark. The word period, exclamation point, the symbol, the dollar sign symbol, and then dollar sign spelled out with a hyphen between the two, space, then the symbol for dollar sign again. Yep, that's correct. All right. Last one. Okay, so this one is the possessive version of blues. Next one is the number eight. It would be a A T E, A T E, number eight. So it's the number one. It's like the actual number. So one to ten. But the number eight and number nine are the words. So I'll read that off again. So it's the, the actual number one to spelled out ten. But the eight, like the number eight. Oh, and... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this makes no sense. So it's the number one, and then what's after that? So two, T-O. Okay. Then ten, but it's spelled out, so T-E-N. Okay. But the num like the actual number eight and the actual number nine are words. Okay, so here's what I got. One, space. T O space T E N space B U T space T H E space eight space A N D space nine space A R E space W O R D S. Yes. Okay. Really trying to trick you in specific. <laughs> wow. So this one is literally the sentence. Okay, this time it's actually blank. Okay is only spelled okay this time, no A Y. And it has an apostrophe. Okay, so okay this time it's actually blank. Yes. Number ten. This one is literally just the word blank capitalized. So B, capital B, lowercase l, a, n, k. Do you have a button up there for when we're done? It says click the check answer when all chests are filled. Go for it. Oh! Good more. job. Oh, or maybe not. That was just a calibration test. It didn't matter if your answers were right or not. Now we're going to have transitional activities between main tasks in order to scrub your palettes so to speak, and get you ready for the next section. These also serve as minor purpose, which is that whoever wins the activity gets to choose their role color for the next task first. For this activity, each person must write a haiku about Minecraft, and when everyone is ready, read them out loud before continuing. I don't even know what a haiku it is. Was, is. Is it like 454 four or something like that? It's a Japanese poem of 17 syllables and three lines of 5, 7, and 5. Oh, it's close. So, 575. Five. What? I am so... <laughs> I am not in elementary school. Why do I have to write a stupid <laughs> poem? <laughs> so, like, it could literally be anything? Yes. As long as it's about Minecraft. How does... Okay. He's gonna be really stupid. <laughs> Same. So, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Mine is named Still Bad. 
Minecraft is very bad. <laughs> I hate this dumb puzzle map. Minecraft is still bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, somebody else go. <laughs> okay. So, uh, mine is titled Haiku is Life. It is <laughs> Minecraft is wood, water and trees in the wind, cows and pigs in grass. <laughs> Quite the opposite of his. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my turn. Minecraft is a game. We play it to entertain. I'm having fun. We. <laughs> that sounds like something like a like second grader would write. Yep. Uh. I added in the we, even though it doesn't follow format. Okay. okay. The person whose haiku had the least vowels gets to choose first. Count up okay. your vowels. Well, my mine literally has we with like. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mine has ten <laughs> E's in the Wii, so I think I lose. I've got eighteen. I have nineteen. Twenty-nine. 20. I'm sorry, I miscounted. <laughs> I have twenty. I forgot you as a ball. Uh, oh, I won. That's good. <laughs> okay, so Alec gets to choose first, and then Tyler, and then me. We have red, yellow, and blue. Choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> 